Hi everyone, my name is Stefan, I'm a pulmonologist. In this video, I'd just like to outline briefly what are the main symptoms that would make a doctor think that someone might have COPD. So COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So this is a condition in which as we're breathing out, we can't really get the air out. There's an obstruction. Chronic just means that it's a disease that will be there probably for the rest of the patient's life. It's not something that goes away, but it can however, be controlled, especially if we have proper treatment, stop smoking, stop being exposed to toxins in the environment, dust, any other occupational exposure, environmental exposures, or household smoke, etc. So if we do all these things, we can actually stop the disease or at least slow it down so that lung function is maintained for as long as possible at an adequate level. And for this reason, it's really important to try to diagnose COPD early. And unfortunately, many patients actually continue to smoke despite having quite significant respiratory symptoms and they seek medical help when it's not necessarily too late, but when treatments are less effective or when they actually require a lot more treatment that they would like or prefer or expect. So it's a good idea to know what symptoms are suggestive of COPD. And the first one I would say is not necessarily coughing. It's tiredness. So if, for example, you know that you've been smoking for many years and you suddenly feel like you're more tired than your peers. So for example, you're walking down the street with a friend of yours of the same age, say you're both in your 50s or your 60s, and you're walking, you're going for a walk in the park, and you feel like you can't really keep up with them. That's a sign that maybe there's something going on, and I think you shouldn't put it down to just growing old, but really you should try to seek a medical advice from your family doctor or another doctor in your area. The other symptom, of course, is coughing. So coughing, especially with sputum, that seems to be there for a long time. Some people always put it down to smoker's cough. This is something that I'm not really a fan of, of this term, smoker's cough, because it does imply that there's something going on. And probably smoking doesn't really help in that situation. So if you've been experiencing a cough, for example, for the last two years or so. It's productive, it's, it's a wet cough, say, and it doesn't seem to go away. You've grown used to it, or maybe some family member has mentioned your cough. Maybe it's also a good idea to check with your doctor whether COPD might be a potential diagnosis. Now, in many cases, when you have a productive cough like that, the doctor may just diagnose it as chronic bronchitis. But in these situations, it's usually helpful to also have a spirometry. So your doctor might actually recommend this test, which is just a breathing test, very easy to perform, and basically it can help diagnose COPD. Because COPD, unlike just chronic bronchitis, does benefit from treatment with inhalers. Inhalers that are long acting. So you may only need an inhaler once a day that you administer regularly and that will really, really help with your symptoms. Please don't be worried if you do get diagnosed with COPD. Help is there. You should always keep, keep in touch with your doctor and make sure you're on the appropriate treatment for your condition. And also you need to perhaps look into other potential comorbidities, we call them. So other conditions you may suffer with that may be associated with COPD and treat those as well. And if you have a good partnership with your doctor and you discuss these things openly, you seek medical help at the right time without postponing it too much or putting it down to old age or bronchitis, smoking, etc. It's always a good idea to do that and it might actually help you have better health outcomes and a healthier life for longer. Hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you all the best and good health.